everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Even the Democrats, yes, are calling the president a lawyer. But uh, oh, a liar, not a lawyer. A liar. Well, he is a lawyer, so they generally are liars. So. Oh, and also, just beware. Don't worry. Back hit his hair. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. You sit there and relax. Oh, that'd be when we have Christmas, and then we'll open up a little bit. We'll relax there and have the two Christmas trees next to us. There comes one Monty tree this side, the new big tree on the other side. Yay, Monty's tree! Yeah, yeah, she really cared about that. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, Nancy, I like Monty's tree. Nancy Pelosi has officially announced that there is no inter insurrection in the Democratic Party. These are people, the line is now, these are Democrats that are wanting to make the Affordable Care Act even better than what it is. And they joined with the renegade Republicans to try to help make the program better, which mm -hmm. isn't the way it is, folks. And Obama's to veto and le any legislation guaranteeing you can keep your health care. He's what? In trouble now, there are 14 Democratic senators that are getting ready to pass a piece of legislation that gives you, okay, here's the way it works is, no less than Diane Feinstein said, the people of this nation were promised they did not have to go on the Affordable Care Act if they chose not to. Uh, and we find out now that it was the intention to move everybody, that the, uh, the private health care policies were to vanish totally, and they were supposed to transition into affordable care, and that is not what was promised. So now the Landrieu Feinstein Act in the Senate will give everyone the choice of not being on the Affordable Care Act and having the older policies that were the president is calling substandard. So. Mm. Qualcomm Surface 2 is easily outclassed by the brilliant Lumia 2520. I know, that's, that, that 20, that's a long time mm. off. I know. <laughs> by the Lumia 2520? Yeah. When's it supposed to come out? I, I, it's a mistake. Oh. Um, Egypt plans ambitious renovation for Cairo Museum. Yeah, well, because the, what happened is every time the extreme loonies in the Muslim world take over something, they destroy everything. This time, they hid the stuff from them because the, the people that basically guard the antiquities of, of Egypt basically have the military to help protect them. So, mm -hmm. And the military actually runs most Muslim countries. And Chevron pipeline explodes and burns in rural Texas. You know, which Obama said this all this is the it, it's convenient a day before they're wanting they're wanting to discuss the the, the Canadian pipeline uh, in the United States a pipeline in the United States blows up it's just too much too much convenience when it comes to the president of the United States and the U.S. Union vote won't affect VW plans well here the trick is they're trying to they're they're basically going to bring unions into a non-union state. And the state is saying, up yours. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're, 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 then they're trying, okay, what it is, VW is trying to have it both ways. Uh, satisfying union workers at <laughs> other plants and yet moving into a right-to-work state. And they're, they're, no one wants to work on the unions in a right-to-work state, which is why it's right-to-work, which means they're bringing union personnel in from other states to basically destroy the right-to-work state. And it's, it went over like a lead balloon. and they. They're trying to back, the Germans are trying to back out of what they have done. No, we're not, we're trying to, we're not trying to unionize your state. Uh, but if you're going to bring in two or three thousand union workers and their families, that's exactly what you're trying to do. And immigration bills fate a murky eye on eve of lobbying. Uh, because it's not even going to be voted on until next year because the way it works is that the Republicans, if you, okay, here's the problem. The Republican, the right was right on doing what they did because Obamacare is a disaster. You figure the immigration things that the Democrats are trying to jam through with McCain and all those people's help is also a disaster because um, what they want to do is to say, well, you came here illegally, but the guy that spent $100,000 to bring his family into the country, well, F you. Mm -hmm. So that's not, I mean, I know a guy that's on television. I spent $100,000 in five years of my life to get my family into this country legally. And I found out all I had to do was walk to the border and say, no hable inglés, and they didn't just let us come in and be citizens. Mm -hmm. And Louisiana leader slash library budget because Mexicans should go back. 
Uh, because what happens is they're being forced by federal law to put things in Spanish. Um. The libraries don't have the money to be multilingual. Mm -hmm. An appeals court re rehearsed a uh, Texas race admi admissions case. Well, what happened is the uh, the oh rehears the you know they what happened was the people on the lower level lost the case saying that they the court Supreme Court has already ruled that that has to be done by Congress now it's time for Congress to go back and revisit so what happens is they've now went back to the Supreme Court to make to have the Supreme Court understand what they said was wrong because these racist states have to have quotas. No, that's not up to the court. It's up to Congress to set that ruling, and Congress ain't got to do it. And Justice Department to notify defendants on surveillance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like they, they already yeah, right. just found out this morning that the NSA was monitoring. They've been monitoring more, uh, more wives and children of uh, leaders around the world. And don't scrap NSA phone surveillance. Yeah, that's the Republican, the, the morons under at the top of the Republican Party. You know, which that they're, everybody hates the NSA, though. First of all, NSA has no authority to work in the United States. It is basically against the law for the NSA to monitor phone calls, anything in the United States. They can only monitor things out of the United States. Mm -hmm. And they seem to have forgotten that little problem in the charter. And gay waitress denied tip because of lifestyle. Well, yeah, lifestyle, you know, um, it, it seems to be the big choice nowadays. Mm -hmm. And two years after you, and well, actually, aren't tips optional anyway? Uh, I, I know, but they're claiming that you if if you don't give a tip to someone because they're smooching their boyfriend before they come and deliver you your food, or uh, that basically you cannot give them a tip now because you don't because your religion says no. It, it doesn't make any difference under Obama. You now lifestyle has to be taken into consideration on tips. You cannot deny a tip because of religious choices. Oh my gosh, I always thought that the tip... No, it's, it, was, it was voluntary, <laughs> now it is it's mandatory. It's just like a mandatory fee. Yep. Forget calling it a tip. Yep. Um, two years after U.S. military departure, Iraq asked for new help to battle Al-Qaeda. The country is falling to the Iranians. Everyone knew that would happen. Well, of course. Um, Jemima releases her film on drone strikes. Yeah, uh, the, the drone, it had a drone hit an American warship. <laughs> uh oh. There, there, it was, okay, they, they're just stupid things. You shoot them into the air, where they fall, you do not know. Mm -hmm. And U.S. destroyed six ton ivory stockpile. This I don't understand. I mean, you lost six tons, you probably lost a thousand elephants or something. So instead of just putting it to use somewhere, they burn it. That's got to be the most stupid thing I can think of. And Egyptian authorities arrest the Muslim Brotherhood leader. Yeah, because these people, Obama cannot understand, these people are banned from ever participating in elected office in the whole Middle East, so he supports them. Mm. And micro apartments offer small slices city living. No, they're just, they're little, they're basically what used to be considered a living room with, a, with an attached bath, and because people can no longer afford the high cost of anything, so now they're they're subdividing all of the hotels and making them into small apartments. Mm -hmm. An overwhelming UN vote against the U.S. embargo of Cuba? Yeah, basically by the left. You know, remember the Muslims and the Communists control the United Nations. And yet another study link, so does yet another health problem. Oh, yeah, because that's just the way it works. The biggest health problem is the fact that, oh, the latest news in the Obamacare is the, uh, they have decided, remember when they said that we wouldn't get between you and your physician? <laughs> well, the day they announced that they're, they're going to, because they have to be able to control costs, they're now determining the, uh, the treatment for certain health problems now, which the state of New York set up yours to the president's people. So. And U.S. looks to Asian nations to build own militaries. That's not supposed to happen by law. We made certain that these countries couldn't have their own military. Mm-hmm. And a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I know. Well, it seems like it's probably about 15 minutes. It probably is.